What's going on world? I am Winston A. Marshall and this is Positive Black People News, but I have a little bit of an announcement. Um, we're, things are still going fine. They're great. I had a little bit of a technical difficulty uh, with this most current episode. Uh, a lot of that having to do with me flying solo means that there are certain things that I do and don't know, and that means I'm making a lot of tweaks. And so I'm editing like crazy. I've been losing a lot of sleep on top of every other responsibility that I have. Um, and so I, it's gonna take me more time to finish this episode, uh, but a lot of lessons have honestly been learned. So here's what I'm gonna do instead. I have a Dave Chappelle, Chappelle show-like lost episode of PBPN from the first season that we never aired. Uh, there's a lot of reasons why. It's not because it's bad quality, it's actually great. Uh, but there's, 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 essentially we went on a little bit of a hiatus uh, right as we wrapped up this episode. And I've had it for a while and I've wanted to share it because the, the first two stories are amazing. Uh, mind you, some of the people involved in the stories may have moved on to bigger and better things by now, and I would love to actually look them up and see if I can find any follow-up to it, but enjoy them. And then the last story, uh, I think it's also important to show this just based off of everything we're dealing with right now, uh, was about when the, there were the missing girls, uh, all the black women and brown women that were going missing, uh, and the, you know, the whole hashtag with bring our girls home and all that was happening. So that part of it is going to be a little bit more somber, uh, but, but it's still an amazing episode. Uh, the old editor, Will Crespo, Crespo, uh, sorry, Will, uh, he worked his butt off on this. The graphics on it are insane. So I, I wanted to make sure that they still got included. You know what I mean? Um, so with that, please enjoy PBPN, the lost episode. So I guess 302 is an extra bonus for you. And I, this episode will still happen. I may release it this weekend. I may wait till next Wednesday, but either way, you will still get what I'm working on. Don't worry work too hard on it for it to just go away. But until then, enjoy this. Jamaican beef patty day. Patty me. <laughs> What's going on world? I am Winston A. Marshall and this is PBPN, the show that's changing the narrative. Free at last, free at last. Andrew Leander Wilson was freed after serving 32 years for a wrongful conviction. With help from the Loyola Law School Project for the Innocent, a judge found that he did not have a fair trial. The prosecutor withheld the fact that the only witness had previously stabbed the victim and had filed a false report. So wait, she lied? Ooh, she lied. Ooh. Ooh. Now I know what you guys are thinking. Winston, is this really positive news? Yes. See, when asked about the situation, Mr. Wilson said, I'm past it. I just wanna eat something right now and love my family. That's amazing. I can't even get past the fact that somebody ate the rest of my lunch today. Well, Mr. Wilson, thanks for reminding us to stay positive. Here at PBPN, we're happy to see you free. Our next story follows a very promising doctor, so? To report on it, here's our own soon-to-be-promising doctor, PhD candidate Nikita Hamilton. Great, now I have to finish my dissertation. I plan on being ABD my entire life and just talking about it incessantly like James Franco. Last Friday was Match Day, which sounds like the name of the final episode of every dating show ever. But no, it's the day the National Resident Matching Program releases its pairing of medical students with a residency program in their desired field of medicine. Some people end up really happy, some people end up less happy, and some people end up alone. Wow, this really is like a dating show. Nakita. Oh, sorry. Um, congratulations to Nancy Abu Bansra, the first black woman to become a neurosurgery resident at Johns Hopkins. And thank God, because we can finally stop talking about Ben Carson, who I won't get into because we're staying positive. Nancy moved to America from Ghana when she was 15 and says, I am very much interested in providing medical care in underserved settings. I want to be remembered for serving my community. See, Ben, she wants to help her people. Positive. We like to keep PBPN light and fun, but in the case of our missing black and Latinx girls, we had to take a moment and put jokes aside. With over 10 black girls going missing the week before last and 38 open missing persons cases in Washington, D.C., people have been taking to social media and calling for something to be done. The mayor of D.C., Muriel Bowser, has created a task force and other initiatives to find these girls. And we here at PBPN wanted to share the ways in which we can all stay informed and help to bring these girls home safely. 
regardless of whether or not they ran away or were kidnapped, because everyone deserves to be safe. You can follow the Metropolitan Police Department and Amber Alert on Twitter for up to the minute news. You can volunteer with or support an advocacy group that focuses on potential outcomes for missing children, such as abduction, sex trafficking, organ trafficking, slavery, and death. You can call your district attorney's office and see what they're doing about sex trafficking, as well as support the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, which aids law enforcement agencies in finding missing children and provides resources for the families of missing children. Please see the description section below for links and more information. We need to find our missing girls. Thank you so much for watching this episode of PBPN. We really want to thank you guys. We've been doing this for two months now. We've had a lot of fun learning about inventors, future leaders, politicians, all that good stuff. But now we want to hear from you. Is there black excellence in your neighborhood? Is somebody out there teaching chess to the local kids in the park? Or is somebody else out here, I don't know, like feed the homeless themselves? Whatever it may be, doesn't matter. We want to hear about it. So down here in our YouTube comments below, if you're watching this on Facebook, on our Instagram, Twitter, whatever it may be, let us know about black excellence in your hood, and we just might put it on the show. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next week.